Hello, everyone. Very excited to have this episode. And it's been a long time. I know this. I was occupied with some personal commitments, but I'm very, very excited today to invite one of my favorite guests from the stuttering slash stammering community, Prakash Boreto, program manager at Walmart, living in the United States of America. Welcome, Prakash. How does it feel to I, be doing hi, this Grishos. podcast? How are you doing? I'm, I'm doing excited great. to be on this podcast and I'm looking forward to having a great time. I can't tell you how excited I am for us to be, uh, uh, you know, recording this episode finally together after so many hangouts that we've done. So let's get started. Today, when I was uh, speaking to Prakash, Prakash said this one thing that really stood with me. And we, we, we were talking about stuttering and, you know, we want to hide it, but we actually shouldn't really hide it because that is what is the cause of stuttering. But uh, Prakash said something very special and very relevant, like hit on the spot. And that is that in terms of stuttering, we are not only hiding it, simultaneously, we are also hating it. Immediately, I could resonate with this from my personal experience. And I'm sure a lot of you must be at some point in life hiding the stuttering, but also simultaneously hating it, which might make things a bit challenging. So my question for you, Prakash, is how did you identify the hating aspect, you know, in terms of, yes, we all are trying to hide, but when you said, when you said hating it, how did this thought uh, come to you? And where is this a, by experience? I can share one thing, Krishna. You mentioned uh, me. And I would like to correct you on one thing you said. You said uh, some of us might have experienced this at some point in their lives. That is not true. I think it's all the time. Every single time we speak, we try and hide a stutter. So it's not some point. It's constantly what we have been doing since eternity. since Ever since we started to stutter, that is what we have been doing, hiding it. And uh, it's only after some time I kind of realized after working with another person that we have to change our mindset from hiding it to stop hiding it. And it makes sense, right? Because if you ask yourself, whenever you speak, you always want to be fluent, which means that you are trying to hide your stutter. And that is the problem, and that creates tension. And whenever there is any kind of tension in your body, and that's when the blocks happen. So you hide it, hiding causes tension, and the tension causes blocks. So it's something which is very obvious if you think about stuttering a little deeper. One thing that I can say is that, you know, uh, Prakash, you articulated this very well. Uh, because I have been facing similar situations a lot of times in the past, but I think that acceptance and openness to recognize is a sign of emotional intelligence. And I think that is what a lot of the times, you know, um, I was uh, trying to, you know, cover that, you know, the hiding it. I'm like, no, I'm not hiding it hating it no i'm not hating it at some point i even said no nah, i don't stammer you know i'm just fine but uh but th but that's the thing it's it's the fact that 
hi that hiding it will actually showcase more it's uh it's like uh it's like a mirror the more we 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 look into the mirror the more apparent it becomes exactly you know i would like to add one more thing is that uh, when we hide it then we are not being our authentic self we are trying to be someone we are not and whenever you are not your authentic self that is when it creates tension and that creates the blocks which is exactly what we are trying to deal with right now yes a very valid point because authenticity is something that you know comes naturally to to uh, some people but in terms of stuttering the problem is that you know sometimes i get very obsessed with my speech or maybe with myself which reflects in my speech and very conscious about how am i speaking how am i sounding am i sounding well all these questions and i think that creates some kind of tension and tension with a lot of consciousness about how am i being viewed so that you know kind of puts me in a place where i'm just trying to impress and i'm for, for forgetting to express exactly uh, definitely when we when we're trying to impress right you don't want to stutter we want to come across as normal as fluent like everyone else which is not being authentic I mean you don't find it safe to stutter all this all this talk right is to get you to a place where you find it safe to stutter you are being your authentic self you are not holding back and when you find it safe to stutter there will not be any tension in your body that is where we want to get to to a place where we find it safe to stutter and if you stutter it's fine because we feel safe it doesn't create tension but when we try to be inauthentic when we try to impress when we try to be fluent that is the problem that is when we create tension so the end point is we must get to a state of mind where we find it safe whether you stutter or not that's not the point but we find it safe to stutter as much as we need to stutter we stutter but we are safe we find it safe to be in the spot where we can stutter if we have to you know i'll share a story with so the question is which of yes yes go ahead i'll share a, a short saying, story go on on uh, when i first met uh, prakash it was uh, i think it was stutter social and on that call he, uh, uh prakash asked you know if anyone wants to connect if anyone wants to practice together and then he said he said i will make you do things so contact me only if you're willing to do now that showed me that this person has courage and it's like prakash knew what he was saying and with the with the confidence and the courage and you know that sort of gave me like you know maybe he's authentic because uh he's warning me that if you are joining me you have to do what i say and you have to work together uh productively and i was like yes i think uh prakash is serious and then we reached out to each other and then we've been in touch all the time 
and uh, very and very rightly said uh, prakash that the more we try to hide it the more it becomes a problem but the less we try to hide it the level of the problem goes down right exactly and we know when we are hiding it and when we are not hiding it you can feel it at times it's it's so obvious you know when you're trying to be fluent and that is the problem i don't means i bet some people may say that i don't know when i'm trying to hide it but i think you can feel it that uh, you cannot afford to stutter at times when you're talking to a certain person it means that you're hiding it you should feel you should have the feeling that you know i'm not hiding it at all I mean whatever happens happens i will not try to fight my stutter and that is a mindset we need to get to but the question is how do you get there for years we have been trying to hide it and we hate it i think uh, when you have that feeling where you want to be fluent i don't think you are enjoying the conversation at all because of the tension inside you and you're hating it so one way to overcome this is number one it takes time we have to do the exact opposite of what you have been doing all these years so so what have you been doing all these years you have been hiding your stutter and you're hating it so the exact opposite is stop hiding it and love your stutter and if you keep on doing this a lot the total opposite of what you have been doing it will do something to your brain and at some point of time you will find that that it is safer and safer to stutter and once you get to a point where you find it safe to stutter that's the place where you want to be what is your one message for all uh, people out there who are trying to you know in a way you know like try to be fluent or you know in some cases chasing fluency and finding the the magic the magic pill of getting fluent what's your one message for for people out there in the community now fluency is not something you aim for it's a by product if you aim for fluency it's a useless battle it's a battle that you will lose and here is why one day you will feel one day you will feel confident and you'll be fluent I mean there are times when i had uh, i was in meetings and i felt really good about myself and i was so confident and things came out naturally and beautifully and i did not have any issue at all with stuttering but then the next day it's like i'm not feeling the same anymore so it's not confidence it is being able to get to a place where you find it safe to stutter i mean if you do anything else like you try new some techniques they will work for a few days and then all of a sudden the techniques which worked once really well they will stop working and someone said uh, earlier i was on facebook that it's all about confidence sure it is but it's not about confidence actually if you look at it deeply because as, as i said right one day you'll feel confident and the next day it's like where did all my confidence go so it is being able to change your mindset and that happens slowly it is doing the exact opposite of what you have been doing all along all along you have been hiding it and hating it so what i would advocate is that we try and call people try and talk to and stutter on purpose do exactly what you have been hiding from stutter on purpose and when you stutter on purpose enjoy it because you have been hating it all along now enjoy it and you will feel that over time that uh, you will not fear this anymore you will find it safe to stutter and that is the place where you want to be you find it safe which means that you are not hiding it at all 
Exactly. And one thing that I want to tell all my viewers is if if your process is not working currently, why don't you try? Why don't you try changing some things? You know, this is like a Rubik cube, right? If one uh if one aspect doesn't work, try changing it around or even go to the extent of doing the opposite. And who knows what you want to achieve? You might achieve it sooner than later. Any final thoughts, uh, Prakash, before we uh, end sure. the episode? Uh, if you have been doing the same thing every day, and all of a sudden expect that your stuttering will go away. That is insanity. There's got to be a major shift in your thinking. And the, and the major shift is stop hiding it. But how do you stop hiding it? Do the exact opposite of stop hiding it, which is stutter on purpose. And as I said before, in the past, you have been hiding it and hating it. Do the exact, the exact opposite. Stutter on purpose, stop hiding it, and, and force yourself to love it, where you get to a point where you are not hiding it anymore and you find it safe, very safe to stutter. The point is not whether you stutter or not. The point is, are you hiding it? Yes. And, you know, uh the the other thing is um me and prakash you know we have also uh we've also done deliberate disfluency calls where you know we're on a call together and then ramesh uh sorry prakash is a uh, ring gigging a restaurant or a grocery store and uh He's deliberately speaking in a in a disfluence, uh, disfluently, and even I've done the same. And trust me, it's not really that awkward because people don't really care, or people are not really thinking so much about you, about me. Everybody's so busy thinking about themselves, but as a PWS. I was always, you know, very concerned about what the, the world and what everybody thinks about me and, you know, trying to showcase myself in a certain way. It's not authentic. It's like, uh, I am this, but I'm showing you this because I want to impress you with this. But the reality is this. And who knows, people might be up might be impressed without you trying to impress them with who you are. Thank you a lot, uh, Prakash. I uh, was very excited and I'm still very excited to have you on the podcast. Uh, I think it was uh, time we uh, made an episode together. Thank you so much for the love, support and for sharing your wisdom on this podcast. We want to hear more from you in the future. And uh, thank you. Thanks a lot. Thanks for sure. You guys take care and I will talk to you soon. Bye.